Bye, Lisa, too, everybody. Where have I been? <laughs> a couple months ago, I was in Virginia Beach. I didn't want to show that video, but I was out there enjoying some good company and just taking it in. But enough of that. What I said I was going to do before was that I was going to use screen tone on my comic books and show you the process of it. Um, I found this as a perfect opportunity for me to show you this because I've already just finished penciling um, a nice quick little comic that I was working on. Um, this was given to me years ago by my buddy uh, Lil Badness and uh, you know thank you uh, to Lil Badness for his help and inspiration for this stuff. Super expensive when you order it but it's worth it. It's still worth it to make your, your work that you put in high quality and very professional. Uh, so I have three tones. I'm going to put a very light color on and then a little darker color and this one is actually pretty cool. This is actually a design. A lot of screen tone comes in very different designs. Um, this this brand, the Japanese brand, the leader, this was a, um, one of those uh, random packs, you know, got like a variety. Anyway, um, I'm going to fast forward this, the inking part of uh, this pencil work and then I'm going to put the screen tone on. So. We'll catch you there. Uh, my goal is to just do the outlines, the hard outlines and all that stuff there and let the uh, screen tone take care of the work of all the shading, okay? without screen tone and shading with screen tone. So this is without the screen tone I'm just drawing. This one here, I gotta take out all the pencil lines and all that stuff there, but I can see that I use cross hatching for the, um, the shading over here, and of course I was shading over here. Using shading for um, the back of the person's hair, I could just quickly use screen tone and give the person a fade, uh, two layers, and I, they already have a fade, just like this here, but I use cross hatching here. And I could even use screen tone over here uh, for this area here, and especially in this area, I could have used screen tone, but Again, I do like to cross hatch. It's just the way that I've um, always grown up drawing.
All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with this screen tone first. I saw a perfect opportunity for this uh, to be, and that would be in the background here. One of the best ways to actually do it is actually cut off a piece that you know that you're gonna use. Like a peeling type of thing here, you can actually peel it off like this, okay? And you can cut off the sizes that you want. Uh, typically, I would use um, scissors for this here, but I'm gonna um, probably use like this amount. And it is sticky. The idea is to place it on in any direction you want, all that stuff there. And once it's on, um, you don't press onto it just yet. So what you do is you cut around it. See that I'm gonna probably uh, place it over him or something like that. So um, I probably, I think I'm gonna have kind of like um, him coming through. Like I'll probably use like this piece right over here. Um, I'm gonna place it around here. I'm gonna cut off this piece for now. Okay, so boom. And I, you know, I can press down on it much harder if I want to. I'll save this piece for later. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut around the, um, my, my drawing from underneath here, okay? Any pieces that I don't want, I just peel off, okay? So um, this is already stuck on, so it's not a big deal. So I would actually cut around here. Around all like that, okay? And I see this piece here, and then I just peel this right off, okay? Because it's kind of like having another piece of paper on top of it, and having an X-Acto knife, um, you, you want to be very careful on how deep you go because you don't want to cut through the paper either because uh, it will go through both um, the, uh, the screen tone and the paper. So what I used to do was I actually press it in <clears throat> and then um, start with the little piece here and, and feel it out.
then. Yeah. All right, so overall it took an hour and 36 minutes to um, ink it and then put the screen tone on. Um, I don't know how fast I would have done this um, on this version. Um, this one definitely was very fast for me because I just quickly cross hatched, you know, did it here. Um, you know, so you can see inconsistencies here by doing cross hatching and all that stuff there because, you know, to keep a consistent straight line all the way across. Um, it's not easy to do, um, but uh, it kind of gives it to me um, an authentic kind of old school, hey, you know, kind of like a garage type of um, artwork. Whereas this one here gives it very quality professional, like holy crap, you know. So look at that. There's quite a difference. Probably about the same amount of time, I have to say. Um, and it, it just, um, you know. That's the thing. That's the power of screen tone. I do, I do promote it, um, but again, if you, it's gonna be expensive. So if you're like kind of starting off doing it, it may not be fun to do. So um, I hope this helped out. And uh, that's it for the, for this um, this comic strip. And you get to see me inking things in and screen toning it. So um, hope you enjoy it. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Satu Sokti, Lakon, Lakonde. See you later.